So someone, I just read a comment someone left on one of my Facebook posts and um, you know, we have this book that we sell and um, she said, or he or she, I don't know who it was, but they said, oh, that book would just be clutter. <laughs> that would just be clutter. And I was like, well, yeah, if you just buy the book and then don't look at it, yeah, it's going to be clutter. Yes. And there are so many people out there and some of y'all need to listen up. There are so many people that think that you can just wave a magic wand or buy something and your house is going to be magically cleaned up and it doesn't work that way. I hate to tell you, but that is not the way the world works. You can't just like want something or wish for something and then expect it to materialize. This is not the movies. This is not, you know, whatever, like hoarders or whatever, like there's no one coming to save you. And I hate to tell you this, but you really need to hear me if you are frustrated with what is going on in your house. Um, it's not magic, right? It's not magic. It Buying my book or buying anything or watching, you know, TikTok restocking and cleanup stuff, none of that is going to clean up your house. None of it. None of it. But what it will do is it might give you something that you don't know. It might give you an idea. You might feel motivated. And if you're feeling motivated, then what do you do? Then you get busy and you go and throw some stuff out and you clean up. Some of you guys need to throw some things away and you're either you're too scared or you're just too stuck and you just don't want to get up off the couch. Now I'm not talking to all of you. If some of you are in, in a depression or if you are working really hard, this is not for you. Okay, so please, please understand and, and have some judgment about whether this message is for you or not. But some of you are just happy to complain and be frustrated and, and feel like a victim, but you don't want to do anything. Okay, and I don't want that for you. I don't want that for you. I want you to be able to make a change in your house and in your life. It is not, it is not out of the realm of possibility for you to make this change. It doesn't require that you change your entire life. All it requires is you show up for 10 minutes at a time and you go and you maybe you get some, you do the dishes or you throw something away or you take out the trash or you, you know, you fold the laundry, right? 10 minutes and then you stop and then you do something else and then maybe you come back later. Okay. But don't think that buying anything or watching anything, including all of my videos, is going to change your life. Because it's not, okay? I can't change your life, but you can. And that is the most important thing here. And so, you know, I kind of I kind of feel bad for the people that leave those kind of comments because I'm like, yeah, it's not, <laughs> It these things will be clutter 100% if you don't use them. Like, of course they're not gonna work if you don't use them them. You know, we had someone who did our challenge um, last month or she didn't, she bought the challenge and then she emailed and she said, Oh, I watched all your videos and I didn't do anything. And I was like, okay, <laughs> why not? <laughs> why not? You invested the money. You were going to show up. She, she watched the videos. She didn't do any of it. And she said, Oh, I don't really know. I just, I just didn't really feel like it. And I actually spent the time to write, I think I, I made her a video I made her like a little uh, quick video and I wrote back and I said, okay, you know, and I gave her some suggestions. There's the cats, they're going crazy. Um, I gave her some suggestions about how she could get unstuck and I never heard from her. And I was like, what the heck? You told me that you wanted to make a change. You told me that you were desperate. You told me you have tried so many things and yet here I am trying to help you and you're not gonna, you're not willing to get up and do your part? You know, like that doesn't make any sense to me. It's really frustrating. Um, but that's just, I guess that's, and maybe she did something and I just didn't hear back from her. I'm not sure. Uh, but I think we're probably just gonna refund her because, you know, if you're not getting results, then I'm not, I don't wanna take your money, <laughs> you know, and it was only 30, 30 days. So um, you have to do the work. Now it doesn't mean you have to slave. You don't have to work like a dog. This is not what I'm talking about. But I am talking, you like the plants, thank you. Yeah, hey Jenny. You have to 
have to get moving. All right, what were the suggestions to get unstuck? Kate's asking. Kate, is all the stuff that we talk about in the membership, you have heard it all before. It is, you know, 10 minutes. It's you have to get up off the couch. You, yeah, this is this is maybe the big one. Sorry, the cats are going bonkers here. Um, you have to work when you don't feel like it. Nobody wants to wash the dishes. Nobody wants to take out the trash. I don't want to take out the trash. I don't want to put away laundry. But guess what? I'm going to do it anyways. And I'm going to feel better when it's done. Or maybe not. <laughs> maybe you're not going to feel that much better when it's done. But it doesn't matter. Because we do these things because we want more for ourselves. You know, I mean, think about, like, you know, you guys know I like to use all the exercise metaphors. You probably don't feel amazing after going to the gym. I mean, maybe you do, but probably you don't. But you still go. And then you go back. And you do it over and over and over again because you know over time that's just who you are right so we don't need we don't need a reward at the end of every 10 minute decluttering session like if you need a reward if you need a lollipop to go and do 10 minutes of decluttering like i, I can't help you because i'm not going to be there to give you the lollipop you have to be able to do it without the reward you have to be able to do it because this is what you want for yourself because this is important to you. And sometimes, like my, my mentor, Brooke Castillo, she says, sometimes it feels like ass. It's not going to feel good. Nobody wants to take the crap to the thrift store. But we do it anyways. Because you know what else doesn't feel good? Is that our, when our houses look terrible and they're overrun run, and we look around and we're like, yuck, that doesn't feel good either. Right? And so... We deal with that. We gotta be in it for the long haul. You can't just do this for one day and then be like, oh, it didn't work. I tried that. It didn't work. It's not gonna work in one day. You're not gonna become a different person in one day. You're not gonna become the person who cleans up the kitchen every night in one day. That's not how it works. You have to do it every day. You have to keep coming back. You have to figure it out. You have to be willing. You have a bad weekend. You have a bad day. You gotta get back on the horse, right? Like this isn't something that you do once and then you're done with it. It's like, it's like wanting to have a healthy body and being like, I had a salad last week. Like why are, why am I not healthy? I had a salad last week twice. <laughs> Doesn't work that way, right? Um, we got to be in it for the long haul for the right reasons. And when you're in it for the right reasons, then it does become easier. And then before you know it, you'll be like, wow. I can't believe that I keep showing up and look at the difference it makes, but you don't see the, the difference, you know, incrementally, but you will see it when you look back. <laughs> I've got like a, got like a, an army here, these cats, I guess, cause I'm yelling. <laughs> they are, they're all hyper. Hey, Kathy. Um, yes. Preach sister. 10 minutes at least. There we go. Reward your, yeah. Reward yourself or don't, right? Sometimes you don't, and we do it anyways, because this is who we are, not because someone's going to give us a pat on the back. I mean, that's all wonderful and lovely, and we love that, yes, but more importantly, because this is who we are, and because this is what we want, and I want you to be like, there's nothing that's going to stop me. There's nothing that's going to get in the way of me achieving this goal, nothing, and I don't care how hard I have to fight for it, and I don't care how many times I have to get back up you know, from being down. Okay. So do not tell me that. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. <laughs> you know, I love you. Don't tell me it's going to be more clutter. It will only be more clutter. If you let it be more clutter, do not give away your power. Do not abdicate that. You'll be in charge of your futures and be in charge of your lives. That is how we make things happen.